I'm joined now by Natalie Elphick, the Conservative MP for Dover. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Just firstly, a re the reaction from your constituency. Well, everyone is shocked and appalled at this tragedy. It felt like it was sadly only a matter of time before we saw a boat capsize, and that has happened. This is a very compassionate and concerned community. They want to make sure that people are looked after in places where they need help, but they don't want them making this dangerous journey where we're seeing loss of life. And, of course, do you recognise the Conservative government's role in this tragedy? It's absolutely vital that the UK and the French government work together. They have been working together on this and clearly more needs to be done. I mean, the Prime Minister and the French President have been talking overnight and I very much see, hope that we'll see something coming from that about fresh action on the French beaches. Now, of course, uh, the Conservative government very much won the last election on the issue of Brexit, taking back control. Is this humanitarian crisis we're seeing unfold in the Channel what taking back control looks like? What we are seeing across the Channel in the small boats crisis is criminal activity, pure and simple. We are seeing the people smugglers preying on vulnerable people, taking their money, putting them into boats and not, frankly, caring whether they live or not, making this dangerous journey. We've got to tackle it. And the best way to do that is stop the boats leaving in the first place and keep the boats keep people safe in France. But, but surely the government has shown a lack of care too, hasn't it? It's taken 27 people to die for President Macron and Boris Johnson to pick up the phone to each other and promise urgent action. Well, there's been really good working together with the French and what are called the juxtaposed controls, the legal controls between Britain and France for a very long time now. And that sees French border officers here and it sees British border officers over in Calais. Um, I want to see an extension of that approach uh, on these illegal routes and for it to be tackled. I think in terms of the UK government's commitment to the issue, it has sent you know, now hundreds of millions of pounds to the French over the last few years. It's provided surveillance drones. It's provided intelligence. There's joint intelligence sharing and there has been for some time. So there is a lot of work from the UK government with the French government but the key thing which was turned down were people on the beaches to make sure that these boats were stopped getting in the water and that's got to change. France has to accept help from Britain and the rest of the EU if we're going to see an end to these sorts of tragedies. Now speaking of the EU of course you're a supporter of Brexit and under the so-called Dublin Convention, uh, refugees had to apply for asylum at the first safe country they reached. Of course, that no longer applies to the UK because we're no longer in the European Union. Has Brexit made things worse? I think what we're seeing is that people are being encouraged by these criminal gangs to continue on their journey when they're already in a safe place. And it's absolutely vital that people take the opportunity to be safe and to stay in a place of safety. It isn't safe to cross the English Channel. It isn't safe to get in a rickety dinghy. And it isn't safe to travel in the wintry seas. And that's what we've seen. So this is about criminal activity and people smuggling. And it's also about making sure that actually if people do come come into the country unlawfully, that they are returned. Only in this way are we going to see an end to this type of activity. And just briefly, The Times is reporting more than 600 migrants arrived here yesterday alone. What numbers are you hearing? It was a very large numbers again yesterday. We've had 25,000 arrivals, now getting on for 26,000 arrivals. But yesterday this year specifically? Alone. Yesterday specifically, I haven't had a confirmed number. I think it is in the hundreds, as you mentioned.